In this example, we're going to solve a second order differential equation using various different parameters. We've solved the equation before, but now we're going to solve it using this. So we have y double prime plus 3y prime minus 4y equals 3e to the 2t. We start by solving the homogeneous problem. And since the characteristic polynomial is r squared plus 3r minus 4 equals 0, which factors as r plus 4r minus 1, we have a general solution. c1 e to the minus 4t plus a c2 e to the t. Now I want to go on to solve the non-homogeneous part. And we're going to use various different parameters to do this. So to do this, we're going to start by labeling our homogeneous solution. We're going to call y1 of t, this e to the minus 4t, and y2 of t is going to be e to the t. Now the formula we need for various parameters is this one here. And so we need this expression here that's in the denominator. Let's figure out what that is, and then we can plug it into this problem to figure out the solution. So we need y1 times y2 prime minus y1 prime times y2. This is going to be an e to the minus 4t times an e to the t, because that's the derivative of e to the t, and then minus a negative 4 e to the minus 4t times an e to the t, which is going to be a e to the minus 3t plus 4 e to the minus 3t. So it's a 5 e to the minus 3t. And just for convenience, we will call this w of t, because it is the Ronskin scheme of these two functions. Now our formula says that by variation of parameters, the yp we're looking for is the following. It's negative y1 integral of y2 times the right-hand side over this w function plus y2 integral of y1 times the right-hand side over that Ronskin function. And for convenience, we'll use 0 as our lower limits and t as our upper limits of integration here. You can pick any lower limit you want. We'll just use 0 because it's easy. And now we can just plug in all the components. So we're going to get a negative e to the minus 4t times an integral from 0 to t. Now we're plugging in s's for all the t's and e to the s for y2, 3 e to the 2s for the right-hand side over 5 e to the minus 3s plus a y2 of t, which is e to the t, integral from 0 to t, y1 of s is e to the minus 4s, 3e to the s, all over 5e to the minus 3s. Now we can simplify out the expressions. So we're going to get a negative 3 fifths times an e to the minus 4t, moving both the 3 and the 5 out of the integral here, times an integral from 0 to t, if e to the s on top times 2s is 3s on top, a minus 3s on the bottom gets me an e to the 6s s yes, plus a 3 fifths e to the t with the same manipulation, integral from 0 to t, minus 4s on top, plus 2, gets me a minus 2 on top, minus on the bottom gets me an e to the s yes. Now we integrate. Negative 3 fifths e to the minus 4t, times 1 sixth e to the 6s from 0 to t plus 3 fifths e to the t times e to the s from 0 to t. Plugging in the endpoints, t 1 sixth e to the 6t minus 1 sixth plus a 3 fifths e to the t times an e to the t minus 1. And we distribute everything through. Negative 3 fifths times 1 sixth is a 1 tenth with a negative sign. Negative 1 tenth e to the 2t plus a 1 tenth e to the minus 4t plus a 3 fifths e to the 2t minus a 3 fifths. Negative 1 tenth plus 3 fifths gets me a 1 half. If I see a 1 half e to the 2t plus a 1 tenth e to the minus 4t minus a 3 fifths e to the t. And that gets me a possible option for my yp, which then I can tack on the general solution to the homogeneous problem to get my full general solution as y of t 1 half e to the 2t plus a 1 half 
plus a one tenth e to the minus four t minus a three fifths e to the t and then plus a c one e to the minus four t and a c two e to the t we can also combine the two terms that have the same functions on them because they are just constants to see that my general solution that i get is y of t at least in a different form one half e to the two t plus a c1 hat e to the minus 4t plus a c2 hat e to the t which is the same as what we found using undetermined coefficients while we might get a different yp from various parameters it's still equivalent to the original one in the sense that it differs by a solution to the homogeneous equation either method we use we can get to the same solution the same general solution for the non-homogeneous problem using either undetermined coefficients or this method variation of parameters.